Hello ladies and gents, this is your friendly neighborhood man here, and today we're going to be having some more fun with batch files. So today I'm going to talk to you about um, how to make a ton of random folders on your desktop, wherever you want to make them, and also how to hide your payloads effectively. So, before I can tell you that, I need to actually make something. So I have my text editor here, set to edit this batch file. And basically, I have something already written. So we have we create um what a loop right here. What is it? Label. That's right. So we create a label called loop right here, and we make a directory in our C drive. So C slash random random random. Now random is a variable that just generates a random number, and you want to have a lot of these randoms because eventually you're gonna run out of random numbers. You have just one, and then you know you won't have a lot of files made, and it's not very effective, right? So I'll just put a couple of randoms here, and also you can change this to whatever you want. I always have C because I don't feel like typing something out really long. And then finally we go back to this loop. Now I could couple this with um, System Crasher and just open up a ton of this, a ton of these files. So pretty much what start test up at or the location of your file. Like I kind of showed in the last video, and you can pretty much just do a computer a uh, user's computer over. Well, it's not that effective, but it can do a little bit of damage. And, you know, uh, you can maybe make, you know, copy a ton of files over to directories, but it's up to you. So, after you have a little payload here, you can save it and do whatever you want with it. I'm not going to run it, of course, for obvious reasons. But I'm going to show you how to hide your batch files effectively so someone will stumble across it unknowingly. So to do this, you want to make a shortcut. So we go to New Shortcuts. I mean, name the shortcut something that somebody will use. So something like Chrome or Firefox, you know, something probably the web browser, or you know, program they use often. So let me go next. Oh, I'm jumping ahead here. I want to make a shortcut to our batch file. There we go. Not no. I cannot type today. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. And then here's our naming portion that I talked about earlier. So I'll just name this something somebody will use. So I'll just name on Chrome, even on Chrome installed. Okay. So now we have our little shortcut here. Now we have this icon here and somebody's like, wait, that's not the Chrome icon. So you can change that by going to properties and change icon and you may have this here, uh, just hit OK and continue. And now select the appropriate icon from this list. If you don't find it, you may want to rename your file, maybe Internet Explorer, but that won't be effective because nobody uses Internet Explorer. Ha, Internet Explorer joke, you suck. Anyways, just find an icon, oh, this looks snazzy. Why not? What is that? When has that ever been used in Windows history? I don't know, you looked it up later. But, moving on. Let's see, there's one other thing I need to find. Details. Security? No. Basically, I'm trying to find, there's this huge list of tabs here. It's not it. Compatibility. Come on. Where are you? This is annoying. Basically, what I'm trying to find is there is what you can set. You can set something so this opens up in a full screen. See compatibility? No. General? No. Shortcut? Ah, I found it. Um, I feel I feel very stupid now. But anyways, you want to change this to maximize. So a normal window would be like this. Maximize. I'm pretty sure it opens up into a giant full screen thing with no X that you have to do something like Alt Tab or hit the Windows key or something to get out of. And that'll confuse a lot of normal users. So after that, just click apply, and there you go. So that's about it. Just throw a shortcut wherever you want. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Have fun.